in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a passport size photo in Canva. So first click on create a design, scroll down and click on custom size, change the units to millimeters, and then go and type in 35 by 45 and press create a new design. Click on uploads in the left hand side, click on upload files, and then go and upload your headshot to Canva. Once you've uploaded your headshot, we'll then need to remove the background from the photo. Now, if you have Canva Premium, then you can use this free background remover. If you don't have Canva Premium, you can always come over to an internet browser and you can just type in remove background from photo online and hit enter. Click on this top website, remove.bg, and then just go and upload your image to remove the background from the image. Once your background has been removed, we can click on download. You can now come back over to Canva and we're going to upload the photo with the transparent background. Drag your image into the canvas and then we can resize the image slightly. Click on file in the top navigation, select settings and click on show margins. Come back over to file, click on settings and select show print bleed. Now click on elements in the left hand side and then go and create a square shape. Click on border style and then select a solid border and give this the border weight of 0.5. Once you've done that, click on the color palette and you're going to make the color transparent. Now you need to go and place this border just inside of the print bleed. So I'm just going to resize it like this. Click on the three horizontal dots and select position. Click on middle and also click on backwards. Now select your photo and resize it so it's within this border. You can go and crop any extra parts that are outside of the border. Once you're finished, click back on file in the top navigation, click on settings and disable show margins and also disable the show print bleeds. And just like that, we now have our passport photo. And the last thing we're going to do is just change the background to an off white. So I'm gonna click on the background and click on the color palette, click on add a new color and type in F5, F5, F5 and press enter. So it's as simple as that guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.